Baldwin County Schools now have a director of safety and security. The search for one began last August as the district said they needed someone completely devoted to school safety. Jessica Cha tells us more about that. Corey Goble is the new director for safety and security for Baldwin County Schools, but he is not a stranger to the area. He worked at the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office for 10 years, and now he's back to help kids here feel safe. Ultimate goal is to try to make the Baldwin County school system the safest, most secure school system in the state. Goble just came from the Bibb County school system, beginning as the chief investigator for campus police. But his job evolved. Uh, developed a, a talent for you know, emergency management and you know, was, was moved over into the role that I was in when I left, which was you know, kind of the role of safety and security manager for the system. He says he acted as a bridge between schools and emergency services, strengthened security, and helped students and staff prepare for situations. You know, we, we focus on getting our teachers comfortable being uncomfortable from you know, a fire or a severe weather event or something in the community that has a negative impact. He says he's still learning the ropes, but plans to bring those fundamentals to Baldwin County. I'm going to come in, I'm going to look around, I'm going to listen to people. I'm going to see what's working. I'm going to see what you know may you make them work better, and keep our kids as safe as we can keep them. Goble says one of his goals is improving communication with parents. Parents like Jacinta Chapel, whose kids go to Baldwin schools. She's worried about the growing use of social media. Um, I have recently heard of like different TikTok challenges that they have, and I'm actually um, happy that they do have a school safety officer back into the school system, communicating with all the schools at all times. Mandy Hopkins is a first grade teacher at Midway Hills Primary. She says she already feels prepared and safe in school, but thinks Goebel's job is necessary. I think when they leave their kids with us, they expect that our first goal is to keep them safe. And I think they feel better knowing that we have these things in place. In Milledgeville, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Goebel says he's still introducing himself and talking to people at the district's six schools. He says then he'll be able to assess the areas that could be improved.